Hey guys, welcome to part two. If you forgot what we're making, this is what we're making a quick button that shoots off an email. Uh, it's already pre-configured and all that stuff. So if you uh, just came across this, go back to part one and get caught up to where we're at now. So let's jump in. Where we left off was the view controller.h. We imported the frameworks. We put the we put the mail compose delegate in there as well. Now we're gonna go to the view controller.m and write the code behind it. Now if you scroll down to the bottom, we've already got an IB action established. So now we're going to tell that button what to do, what action to take once it's been clicked. So give ourselves a little bit of room here because we do have quite a bit of code ahead of us. Now just to give you a precursor, email is only supported, in-app email is only supported on um, iOS 3 and greater, 3 or, 3 or more, so 4 is fine iOS 5 is even better and so what we have to do is we have to we have to test the device to make sure that it can send a email message if it can't send an email message we want to display alert an alert to him and say you know it's not supported on your device or something like that so we're gonna simply start with an if else statement here now as we put uh, the if else there we're gonna fill in the blanks here with a few different things so the first thing, the if condition, we're going to simply write nf or uh, sorry mf mail compose view it should be the view controller um, mail compose view controller can send mail all one word there. Okay, so we're testing if the if the compose the view controller can send the mail, then we're going to tell it what to do. If not, we're going to display the the uh, the error message, the alert view in front of them. So if it can, we continue on with what we need to write in here. Now because it is a little bit lengthy, I'm just going to copy and paste the code um, from the example that I used here, and uh, then we'll walk through it. So let me grab that code. And uh, wow, yeah, there you go. So we've got quite a bit ahead of us here. Now, before we move any further, I actually forgot some brackets here within this if else statement. So add some square brackets to surround the uh, MF mail compose view controller can send mail, the statement um, within there, the condition. And then as I copied that in, I told you I'd explain it here, so let's just run through this real quick. So we've got an if else statement. So if it can send mail, we're going to create a variable, and this variable is going to be established with a mail.mail compose delegate, which is the self there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that variable and we're going to set some different stand, you know, some different things for it, like the subject, as you saw in the example, we're going to set the subject of the mail the message that we're sending to my bring back welcomes here whatever else you know then we're also gonna have uh, some two recipients we're gonna set the the recipients of this email already now in this case you know we could add several different recipients just by simply continuing the string here we could go Jake at my bring back dot com don't forget to uh, make sure you just put a little comma to make sure if you're adding recipients um, the other thing is we could add in like a BCC or a CC field. So set CC recipients to, and we would name the array that we've already established. You know, we could just name the uh, two recipients as the array. So we'll just add that in for kick so you guys can see what it does. Um, we could set up multiple arrays up here with different recipients for the BCC, CC, you know, whatever you guys want in there. So it does have a little bit of flexibility, and you can you can definitely work with that. All right, the next thing that we've got is we've got a string that we're going to insert into the email body. And so in this case, we all the only thing we have is hello bringers. And again, this can be hello bringers, welcome to this toot, and uh, so on and so forth. And then what we do is we set the message body to the variable email body, the string email body. Um, and then we've got an is HTML. We can customize it. We can insert images. A little bit more advanced, but uh, you know, just want to let you know that's available. And then we go down to actually 
establishing the presentation style. So when so when the iPad launches, when you click the button, you're going to see the model, the modal presentation style of the email application loading up, and uh, that's what this is right here. So we've got everything for if the device can actually shoot off the email. Now we have to establish the else statement here. So if it uh, if the application doesn't have the ability to send mail, we're going to display an alert. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste this so I can show you, and it doesn't take a year for us to get through this. So what I've basically pasted on the screen is we have a UI alert view. And in this UI alert view, um, we're going to have a title of error that pops up. And, uh, and then also a message that states email is not supported on your device and there's a button on there that they can click OK. Um, so that's the basics of that. So it just uh, shows the alert if the device isn't able to compose or send a mail, mail messages in this case. Now the last thing that we've got to do, and this is kind of a help the user get through, know that the message was sent, um, and understand you know basically the the dynamics behind it and that's gonna be making sure we we log a message to them and uh, you know in this case since we're working on a simulator we can't actually have an alert view and it won't show us all this stuff so we're just gonna log it on the screen so we know that uh, everything went through is after your IB action of the email button now that includes all the way down to this last bracket so make sure you don't go in between or anything like that. So go after the last bracket. And uh, I'm going to paste in a statement here. And so basically this is saying um, after the message is sent or somebody saved it or it didn't, it didn't go, we want to display a message to the user. And in this case, we're just going to log it in our screen so we can diagnose and make sure it works. So we put in a simple switch statement. And we're going to display the results of the statement in our NS log, and I'll show you that once we get going. So basically, we've got a case here, and if the result is canceled, we're just going to display canceled. And then we're going to have a break statement there, and if the result is saved, we're going to say message saved and drop folders, so on and so forth, all the way down through our switch statements here. The very last thing that we've got on the screen here is our dismissal of the in-app email. So after it's sent, we're going to dis dismiss the view controller and uh, it's going to it's going to fly off the screen. So we're going to wrap that up and uh, if, you know, if I went too fast, pause the video, grab some of the code and go out there and, and try it out. So let's go ahead and run the application, make sure we've got everything squared away. All right. So go ahead and click your button in the middle of the screen and there we go. We've got uh, our populated two and CC fields. Like I said, those can be modified, those can be whatever you want. And then we've got our subject pre-populated um, as well as uh, a body, an email body here. So let's go ahead and try, try to click send. Now I'm going to scoot this over and if you can see our debugger at the bottom of the screen, we log that the email message was sent. So right here we've got a compose result sent, message is sent. So we know it went through and that's just... Uh, that's just kind of for us right now. As you guys build your apps, you can look at uh, displaying another alert view, telling them, hey, a message has been sent, and they can dismiss that by clicking OK and so on and so forth. So that's just kind of an example of uh, the in-app email. Hopefully that helps you with developing your applications. And uh, you know, stay tuned to other tutorials, and let us know. You know, If you're looking for something, we'll try to help you out with that. All right, we'll catch you guys later.